And the field was about 220 meters long and I used about 190 meters. So my father had nothing better to do than to film my emergency landing. An engine out in a single engine aircraft, 1000 feet above ground level, zero injuries to your passengers, zero damage to the aircraft only three months after passing your private pilot's license. As this was filmed, we can take you on board and the pilot can comment us through this emergency landing. Initially, my first reaction was to push the, the throttle and see if any power was... We are going to meet with Dominic, who was the flying pilot in this emergency, and he's gonna talk us through his experience. Dominic, hi. Akash, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Maybe you can uh, shortly introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Dominic. I'm 22 years old, and I started my flying career just when COVID hit. Some flights after my PPL, about two months, I had quite a special experience with this DA-40 here in the back. I guess you remember every single detail of this day. Maybe we can start from the beginning. Sure. So for me, it was quite a normal flight. I had a big trip planned two days later for my birthday to go to Albia. So for me, that flight was just to get one last time familiar with the air system here in the aircraft. Took two of my family members on this flight and the goal was just to fly to the southern part of Switzerland, see some mountains, go for lunch and come back. So we started here on a beautiful Saturday morning. Uh, everything was fine, pre-flight check, we did engine start, engine run up. Uh, we took off, everything seemed normal, quite quiet on this Saturday morning. Uh, we flew out via Zurich, a wonderful view over the city and just then when we set cruise climb when everything started to get worse. Uh, suddenly I heard a loud bang and when I looked to the engine page I saw the engine was crossed out. Initially my first reaction was to push the, the throttle and see if any power was left when I realized okay I had an engine failure. Obviously first thing then was to take wee best glide and have a look out to see if there's a good field just beside me. Um, I then used the time while I was looking out to do the Mayday call um, because the information frequency I was on was super busy because it was a wonderful day to fly and I wanted to have awareness on my problem what's going on and I just did the Mayday call so they kn knew about my problem and then I searched for a good field initially heading towards the city just to be near a hospital in case the situation got worse. Then I started with all my checks and procedures in the cockpit. So I grabbed the emergency checklist and went through the engine failure procedure. Um, after no success with that, I also did the motor switch uh, because I had an ECU failure A and B uh, warning on the display and also tried emergency fuel valve from the auxiliary tank uh, in case there was any luck with that. While I was doing those checks, I also used the time to watch out for a field. I had my instructor in my backpack saying, always go for the brown fields, especially in, in spring when everything is growing. So my father had nothing better to do than to film my emergency landing. And we can show you here the first part of the landing. Uh, you can see that I'm using the water switch and also trying the windmilling start. At that moment, I also spotted the field I wanted to go. So I'm just turning now to base and preparing the airplane to land. Um, after I was established and knew, okay, now we're going down, all the checks and procedures were failed and nothing was left then to do the emergency landing. I did a quick briefing with my passenger so they knew what's going on. So the last 20 seconds of my landing, I used to coordinate with ATC, so they knew my exact position. I also switched on the ELT, so they had my, also my position on the, on the radar display. Um, then I used the time to shut off the fuel, um, put the engine master to off and also the electric master, and then I concentrated for the landing, which you can see now in the second video. As I knew from the beginning, the field was quite short, so I flared the airplane quite hard to get rid of the excessive power and speed. And just when I approached the field, I saw that there were people working in the back, but because I had no engine, they didn't hear me at all. Um, I prepared for full braking power, and, and in the end, the field was about 220 meters long, and I used about 190 meters. Um, normal ground roll of this DA-40 will be about twice as much. I can only say congrats. And maybe you can tell us what happened 
after that? Yeah, sure. So for me, it was a, a really overwhelming feeling when we then could exit the plane and you knew, okay, everything was fine. Um, then, of course, we, we contacted the police to have somebody on the site. Um, also, the fire department arrived. The Swiss Aviation Council came to the site. Uh, there was also some people from the press uh, which wanted to get the story uh, behind it. Um, also contacted my flying instructor which arrived at the field and it took us about eight hours till I was finally released and go away from the site. And I got my, also my license uh, back and um, yeah, quite an experience that day. To finish off, um, I would like to know how did you remain so calm and uh, also do you still fly? because I knew if I would stay calm, the chances to survive would be much greater. And I got nervous when we got out of the plane, uh, when like everything sucked in me, I was like, okay, wow, what did just happen? But until that time, I wasn't nervous at all. I was just 100% focused to do my checks and procedures just as I learned them. And yes, I'm still flying. I'm also trusting this airplane. Uh, just finished my air building for my airline transport license. And I'm also flying with this beautiful airplane because I trust in the aviation, in the maintenance we have here. And I'm 100% sure that if you do the checks, um, if you do your training, uh, it's quite a safe place to be in a DA40 like this one behind me. Uh, thank you for your, your amazing insights. And for you, you know the drill, like, subscribe and see you on the next one.